How about a fun star-shaped shaker card for your Christmas card this year? I will show you what we'll use walk you through the steps on this one. We've got the snowflake edger. We're going to be using just the star one in the center there. Here's the radiating star. Um, the tag from the center of the frosty frame. And we're going to be doing a little bit of embossing with the twinkle twinkle embossing folder. And that's where we're going to start. So first thing I've done is cut an aperture in the center of a piece of coconut white card, and I'll give you a quick measurement on that. It is uh, five and three quarters by six and three quarters. And I just cut the star a little bit towards the top. So I'm gonna bring in the twinkle twinkle and just place that in there. And we're gonna run that through the machine with the raspberry adapter plate. That'll give us some gorgeous texture. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Very nice. Let's set that back there too. So you can see how lovely that is. It's great to have the star theme with the star uh, embossing on the back there. Okay, so um, I'm going to cut the radiating star as a center to go behind my tree cup. So I'm just gonna pop ahead a little bit. And on a piece of gold mirror card, and this isn't gonna show, so it can be even a little bit smaller piece if you like. So let's bring in our cutting plate. Put that down. I don't even think I'm gonna bother taping that because I can twist that if it moves a little bit. Give that a quick cut. And I'm just using the inner decorative star for this. I'm not using any of the edges. And then let's see if we can Pop some of these out. Oh, there's our tool in one. There we go. One more little guy there. So I've got a really nice little shape to use behind my shaker. So I'm gonna bring in a star from the, uh, the shakers, the treat cups, and I'm going to fill it up with a little bit of our gold uh, hexagons. They're really nice. A couple of those in there. And just to give them a little bit of uh, punch, I'm gonna bring in a little bit of microbeads. I find that this just allows them to shake a little bit freer. Put those into place. And you don't wanna get it so full that you cover up your whole picture there. So, put a little bit of dry's clear glue around the edge. And a piece of acetate. I'm gonna pop that right over the top. Now, I like to set this aside to dry for a bit, but I have one that I've done a little bit earlier, so we will use this, okay? I'm gonna put that into place and then tape it with some single-sided tape just to make sure it stays nice and secure. Get a bunch of pieces here. Kind of walk it around the edge and that way you're sure that, first of all, if your glue does um, pop a little bit loose, then you've got the tape there to hold it in place. So it's kind of a, a added security and it'll hold it nice and firm to the background on your card. By having it sealed up with the acetate, it just makes it easier to move around. So there you've got that piece there. Now I wanna add a couple of borders onto the side. Now I've done one ahead of time, but the other one I haven't quite finished. So I've used the center star here, and these edgers don't have any side edges or top or bottom, so you can cut and make them as wide as you like or as long as you like. So what I'm gonna do is just, just hook that star back into place. I'm gonna pick up a couple of the stars that were there and make sure it's nice and in place. So let me just give it a quick wiggle. That looks good. I'll pop that right down and just hold this in place. In fact, I'm gonna turn that around. I think it'll be easier going in that way. Pop that on. do our tape. Let me grab a pokey tool. 
That looks very nice. Take our tape away. Okay. Put that back onto our cutting mat. And you can see I've got a full length of stars now that I can use. So what I want to do is just back that with a bit of silver, uh, excuse me, gold mirror card. So I've cut the strip the same width. So I'm going to use a little bit of spray glue on that. Okay. I want to try and get that lined up first try since it's the mirror card. It isn't quite as forgiving. There we go. That looks pretty good. Very happy with that. So now I've gone ahead and done one ahead of time. Let's add that. I've got a little bit of mounting foam on that. I'm going to just add that to the edge of the card. And this one just needs to be trimmed down a little bit. Let me just find the length on this one. There we go. That should be about all right, add the mounting foam onto the back of it. Okay, oops. Add that to this side. Tiny bit long, I'm just going to nip that. There we go. Okay, so bring this piece in now. The star I cut earlier, make sure all your little fall away pieces have been removed. And I'm going to put a white backing behind that. So a little bit of spray glue on the back of this. There we go, that should work. And I'm going to bring this around and add a little bit of tape around it. stars a tiny bit crooked so let's see if I can get this lined up we may have to do a tiny bit of trimming so pop that into place I'm gonna lean over and just look through do I see the star there we are we're a tiny bit crooked at the top so I'm just going to nip that away that won't show there we go and I've got a backing with a little bit of white on white paper piercing I'm going to let the gold just stand out on this one. Put that onto our background. There we go. Now, what I want to do is kind of delineate that star a little bit more. So I've used the outer cutting dies from this set. You've got the outside and a decorative piece in the middle and then the smaller one there. So out of gold mirror card, I've cut this. So I'm just going to use a little bit of spray glue on the back. And I see I've got a couple little guys that need to be popped out. And let's just see if this is going to be sticky enough. Pop that right over the top there. I think that'll work. Sometimes you have to add a little extra glue when you've got some embossing to really make it stick. Just to save time, we'll, we'll skip that. And out of the frosty frame, I've cut the tag out of the gold mirror. So pretty. Added a little bit of mounting foam, and that's going to sit right down below our star and a sentiment and I've used the inner die from that set to cut the uh, the sentiment out we're going to put that right into place here super simple card but isn't that lovely and you've got a really nice shaker card that you can give for your Christmas card this year hope you've enjoyed today's video and you can look for us on our YouTube channel don't forget to subscribe see you soon